This is a seventh grade math problem from a Singapore text. I have modified the question slightly, changed the context of the question for copyright issues. Other than that, you can consider it a seventh grade Singapore math problem. It's a fairly challenging problem involving fractions and a little bit of background. Singapore students don't use algebra to solve this problem. They use, it's called bar modeling. They use a visual technique to solve this problem. I'm going to solve this problem in that manner using bars or bar diagrams. And go ahead, I would encourage you to solve the problem on your own, ideally without using algebra. But if you want to use algebra, be my guest, go ahead and solve the problem. Let's go ahead and read the question once before we look at a solution. Jim had 80 red and blue marbles. After giving one third of his blue marbles and 15 of his red marbles to Samantha, Jim had two thirds as many red marbles as blue marbles. How many blue marbles did he have originally? That's our question. Pause the video right now. If you want to solve the problem on your own, the remaining portion of the video contains a visual solution to this problem. We're going to solve this problem backwards. By reading the question, well, when you read this part of the question, Jim had two-thirds as many red marbles as blue marbles. So after he gave away a third of his blue marbles and 15 of his red marbles, this is what he was left with. He had two-thirds as many red marbles as blue marbles. What does that mean? Well, well, that means that if he had three parts of blue marbles, then he must have had two parts of red marbles, all parts being the same size. So if his blue marbles could be split into three equal parts, his red marbles could be split into two equal parts, and all the five parts will have the same size. So that's what it means. That's what I did visually. Three portions, three little boxes to represent the blue marbles and two boxes to represent the red marbles. That's what we mean by Jim had two-thirds as many red marbles as blue marbles. A couple of things to keep straight that what went on here before he had this, before he had this he gave away one third of his blue marbles. So this has to be two thirds of his original blue marbles. This has to be two thirds of all the marbles he had. So if this whole thing is two thirds of all the marbles he had originally, half of it will be, I'm going to do it in green, half of it will be one third. This will be one third and this will be one third because one third plus one third gives you two thirds. You have to get this to visualize the total number of marbles Jim had originally you have to understand that what he was left with has to be two-thirds of all of his marbles, original number of marbles. If this is two-thirds, half of it will be, this is going to be one-third, as drawn, excuse me, one-third, and this is going to be one-third. It's a critical step and a very important step. You want to understand this before you move on. So based on our discussion, we can actually decide to cut all the pieces here into two equal parts. Why would I do that? Because I know half of it is one-third. This is one-third, I know from my previous description. So I want to cut everything into two parts. All the square rectangles were cut into two portions so that I can clearly identify my one-third. I need to stick another one-third here to visualize Jim's original, the total number of original blue marbles Jim had. This is one-third of the original number of blue marbles, this is one-third of the original number of blue marbles, and this is another one-third of the original number of blue marbles. So three-thirds make one whole. So to add another one-third, 
I really have to add three of these pieces together. Three of these should be added to what Jim was left with to represent the original number of blue marbles. So here is my original scenario. My final scenario, I had this in my final scenario which we started with this was two-thirds and I added one-third here this was two-thirds and this was one-third I'm gonna make it blue so that we can keep it straight this is one-third and clearly two-thirds plus one-third is one whole all, or all of his blue marbles. And of course I added 15 because he gave up with 15 red marbles so I added 15 here. So this is what he had originally before he gave away one-third of his blue marbles and 10 of his red marbles. Now we know one more thing. We know that Jim had altogether 80 marbles. The red and the blue marbles, if you add them together, originally Jim had 80 marbles. This is 80. I can actually use this picture to find out what should be the total number of blue marbles he originally had. It's not that difficult. So first I'm going to subtract 15 from 80 and that gives me 65. 80 minus 15 is 65. Now this has to be this has to be 65. This has to be 65. And we're going to write it here. This is 65 marbles. Well, this contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This contains 13 pieces. So I take my 65 and divide 65 by 13 and the answer is 5. So each piece must represent 5 marbles. I'm interested in only the total number of blue marbles he had that's what I'm interested in. So altogether he had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He had 9 chunks of blue marbles and each chunk represents 5 marbles so I'm going to take 9 multiplied by 5 right here and that's going to give me 45 and that's the total number of blue marbles he had. Could have used a color blue but really doesn't matter. This is my answer. 45 is the total number of blue marbles Jim originally had.